This is the Monday evening KRQE.com webcast. John Smith starts with weather. We're looking for a clear and cool night once again for the overnight hours, and then we turn up the heat again for tomorrow with temperatures well above average. The eastern part of the state could be flirting with records as the southeast sees highs into the low 90s, and the heat continues for Wednesday, but we do start to see changes as that storm system dives into Colorado. We'll be looking for windy conditions. Winds in the east central sections of the state could gust up to 45 miles per hour, and then behind the system, we drag in the first of two cold fronts, and by the weekend, we are talking temperatures a good 30 to 35 degrees cooler in some parts of the state. The state Supreme Court today threw out the convictions in a high-profile double murder case. Marino Leva Jr. was charged with shooting his pregnant girlfriend, 17-year-old Sarah Lovato, and her father at their Santa Fe apartment in 2009. A jury convicted Leva of two first-degree murders, and the judge gave him two consecutive life sentences, meaning he would never get out. But the high court says that judge made a major mistake letting prosecutors introduce Sarah's diary in which she wrote about Leva's frequent violence against her. The Supremes said that was hearsay evidence should not have been allowed, so Leva gets a new trial. The election is still 15 days away. In Bernalillo County, early voting has already set a new record. Four years ago, about 9,000 people cast their ballot on the first day of expanded early voting. This time around, more than 10,000 voted last Saturday, which was the first day of expanded voting. More flexibility may be driving those numbers up. 17 early voting centers are open from 8 a.m. till 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday, and Bernalillo County voters can vote at any of those websites, no matter where they live. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.